Welcome back to our subject, MSTO2, Living in the IT Era. And for today's discussion, we will be having module 10 of our lesson for the final term. And this will be about web development. Okay, so we all know that when we say web development, it is the act of making a website or a web page. Okay, so it is not very easy for us to create a website. So you need logic, you need to have patience, okay, because you will be using or making a lot of codes and with just one mistake, okay, your code will not run or you will not be able to successfully create your own web page or website. Okay, so mostly, okay, web development is done by team of web developers. Okay, especially if the project is for a big client or if you will be making a big website. Okay, so you should have a team for that. Okay, but if you will simply be making a project, a simple project or a personal project, okay, you can do that alone. Okay, and there are different types of web developers. We have the front end, back end, or full stack web developer. Okay, so front end is the type of web developer that focuses on uh, the graphics, the all-in, all aesthetic of the website or the web page. Okay, they are the ones who monitor, create, and maintain the outlook of the web page or the website. The next one is the back end. They are responsible for uh, the functions, the server, and the different links or the codes that are created. Okay, for the website to function properly. Okay, and for the last one, full stack developer. So they do uh, both responsibilities. Okay, so they create the codes for the function and also they ensure that the uh, appearance of the website is of the interest of the audience or of the target audience. Okay, then. These are the different or the various principles of good web design. So the first one is the purpose. So of course, for you to or for your website or your web page to be popular, you need to target a certain audience. And for that, you need to create a certain purpose. For example, our various social media websites, those are for the purpose of linking people. Okay, then we have various entertain entertainment websites. Of course, they are for uh, entertainment purposes like <clears throat> YouTube. Then we have TikTok now. Okay, so they entertain us and also they uh, promote okay, user experiences. Okay, the next one is simplicity. So your website should be simple. Simple enough for people to easily comprehend of on what are the contents of your website okay as you or if you will be analyzing some famous websites such as facebook then we have other social media websites such as uh, twitter and so on so their design is very simple okay facebook only uses a simple logo which is f okay then the color is not too uh, flashy it just uses a blue color for, the, for their design. Okay, the next one is navigation. So we should ensure that the symbols or the logos and the links that are embedded in your website or your web page are easy to understand. Okay, because if not, people may uh, become lost okay, in using your website. Okay, the next one is F-shape pattern reading. So this is one which is in trend now. So you should make, okay, some menus that are aligned vertically and the contents are aligned horizontally, okay? For example, we have the Facebook, okay? For example, Facebook, YouTube, then we have TikTok as well, then we have Instagram, okay? And Twitter, okay? Those are some websites wherein the menus are aligned vertically, okay, to the left. And then the contents are seen aligned horizontally, okay, either to the center or 
to the larger part of the monitor. Okay? So, that is the F-shaped pattern reading. Then, visual hierarchy. So, when we say visual hierarchy, so we should ensure that <clears throat> the outlook of your website are aligned from the most uh, interesting up to the least interesting. Okay, of course, once you open a website, you first went to the upper part of the website. So, on the upper part of the website, be sure to include there the things that are the most interesting. Okay, then the next one is content. But for now, uh, since uh, it is popular that websites promote user experience, so they allow now the users to provide their own contents. Okay, so it's not very hard for web devel developers now to uh, provide contents because through user experience, the users are the ones who provide the content for the website. Okay, for example, YouTube, we are the ones who upload the videos. So, the contents are created by the users. Okay, then grid-based layout. So, when we say grid-based layout, everything should be aligned. Okay, the logo should be aligned properly and they should not be uh, scattered around the screen. Okay, then load time. Okay, of course, for us to caught the attention of the audience. Your website should load as fast as it could. Okay? So, because uh, if you will allow audience to wait for a minute, okay, even for uh, more than 30 seconds for your website to load, so they will lose interest. Okay? They will no longer wait for your website to open. Okay, then the, next, the last one is mobile friendly. So, since we are now using smart gadgets, so it is also good for us to ensure that uh, our website or web page or the website or web page that we can that we will be creating, okay, also fits the screen of various gadgets. Okay, so uh, I introduce you with the uh, web developing website, which is the Webflow. So in Webflow, you can check. Okay, how does your website or your web page look like? Okay, so the uh, on the upper part of the worksheet in the Webflow, there are icons there. <clears throat> okay, one is the icon for a PC or a laptop monitor. Then there is an icon for a tablet monitor. Then a mobile cell phone monitor, vertical aligned or portrait alignment. Then uh, another one. A mobile phone monitor which is horizontally aligned so once you click those icons you can see uh, how does your website or your web page look like okay as seen on those various designs okay so that is what we refer to as mobile friendly then uh, of course for you to be able to create okay on your own for you to be able to create your own website you need to learn the basics or to master the basics of HTML and CSS. So HTML refers to hypertext markup language. Okay, and CSS refers to cascading style sheets. Okay, so HTML is uh, responsible for all the things that you can see, okay, linguistically, okay, in your website or web page. So every links, every verbal contents of the websites are created by HTML. Okay, then CSS is the one that is responsible for all the documents, the images, the videos that are uploaded in your website. So it is the one that ensures the quality or adjusts the quality okay, of the documents that you will be uploading. It also provides limit. Okay, what will be the maximum limit or the maximum uh, measure or gigabyte or byte okay for the document that you will upload <clears throat> then uh, if you want to learn more about css so these are the topics that you can search for so the first one is css first steps then css building blocks styling text and css layout okay so you can uh, try to one by one search 
research them and study them for you to be able to learn more about CSS. The reason for this is because uh, CSS uh, programming language or coding language is now very popular since uh, websites now promote user experience. So the users mostly upload documents, okay? Documents including files or images, okay? So for the website to be able to <coughs> cope with those uh, memory, with those big quantity of memory or big amount of memory, okay? They should be able to create a code, a CSS code that can handle or that can ensure the quality and the resolution of those documents, okay? Then we have here the various kinds of CSS or the cascading style sheets. Okay, so the first one, of course, this is the very first one, the CSS one. So in CSS one, it is very particular with color, with backgrounds, with text, and uh, margins and borders. Okay, so it focuses on what will be the color of the text, the background, what will be the margin, the alignment. Okay, so it is more on uh, letter based designs, okay, or uh, alphabetic based design or alphabet based designs, okay. Then the next one is CSS2. So this is the one who uh, proceeds with the uploading of media contents, okay. So with CSS2, we are now able to input pictures and other documents such as videos and even files okay in the website okay and also for css2 it promotes bi-directional text okay and uh, fixed positioning of elements so when we say fixed positioning of elements once you scroll down or scroll up okay the thing that you opened will not move okay it will stay there in at the center of your screen Okay, only the other menus of the website will move. Okay, the next one, CSS3. Okay, CSS3 now promotes uh, separate documents, which are now called modules. So for CSS3, one by one, it is becoming an F-shaped reading pattern. Okay, so it will now provide, or it is now providing... Uh, elements that are separated into different modules or we can say columns as well okay so it can have the menus okay from the right column or the right module and the contents to the left module or if it is horizontally aligned so it can have the menus on the upper row okay then another menu on the lower row Okay, so we have that. That is CSS3. Okay, then the last one, CSS4, it is more advanced. So it is now the F-shaped reading pattern. So we have one that is vertically aligned and some components or some contents that are horizontally aligned. <coughs> okay, however, <coughs> uh, IT experts are still de <coughs> debating whether to call that a CSS4 or if it is, is still an update for CSS3 because it is not far from how CSS3 looks. Okay, the only difference is that CSS4 now is capable of uh, having the contents or some of the contents that are aligned vertically and the other contents aligned horizontally. Okay, unlike CSS3, it should be vertically and vertically or horizontally and horizontally. Okay. Then the last one, <clears throat> we have what we call as JavaScript. Okay, so JavaScript is now a programming language. Okay, so if you will be creating some interactive components, okay, in your website, so you need to uh, be familiar with JavaScript programming language. So <clears throat> under JavaScript, you will be able to create uh, filters, animations, games, that you will add or that you may add in your website okay however this is a deeper kind of programming <clears throat> this is a deeper kind of programming so it will take you longer time 
Okay, to master that. Okay, and uh, for your at output, so for your further knowledge, you may uh, access this link. <clears throat> okay, so the link here is for a playlist of videos, okay, about <clears throat> some tutorials on how to create a website or a web page using Webflow, okay, or using webflow.com. Okay, by the way, you are not limited to simply use Webflow. <clears throat> if you are very familiar with HTML or CSS uh, coding, coding language, you may do so. You may uh, create your own website or web page using that. Okay, but if you are not familiar with those two coding language, <clears throat> I suggest you may use Webflow, okay, in creating your website or web page. Okay, and if you have access to other websites <clears throat> wherein you can create websites or web page as well, so you can also use that, okay? You can use example, we have the wings.com, so that is another web developing website. <clears throat> Okay, and of course, so this will be your output. So this will be the final requirement for my subject. So you have to make a blog website. Okay, in the blog website, you should include some. I am not telling you to include all, just some of the outputs. Okay, okay, that you created for MSTO2. So be creative on your contents, meaning uh, you will be the one to think of what will be the theme, what will be the other contents that you will put, okay? So, these are the dis instructions here, okay, on how to access webflow.com and how to start uh, making your website or your web page. So, take note for the document that you will submit, use the file name, surname, underscore course, underscore, finals act to end three, okay, or final rec, okay? Then submit your work before 5.30 p.m. of, that's May 13, okay, of May 13, 2022. Okay, so we have here the rubrics. So 20 points for creativity, 30 points for usability. The content is 40 points and timeliness is 10 points with a total of 100 points. Okay, and also for those who will be coding their own website or web page, the one that I am asking you to submit is the uh, code in a notepad, okay? So save your code in a notepad, then that notepad document we should be submitted to me, okay? It is the one that you should submit, okay? So if you have more questions, simply write your comments down below or message me directly, okay, for me to be able to give clarification about your concerns or your questions, okay? Thank you for attending our class now or watching our video. Always keep safe and stay healthy.